Shreyas, you're a dirty, dirty boy. Yo, anybody ever have it like on their iPad, like where it just like restarts like over and over? Thank God I got like a few of these fuckers, but it just like restarts. Like you'll be just doing something and then that Apple sign will come on and just restarts and then restarts and it restarts. It doesn't even give you a chance to like reboot the thing or reset it because it just keeps restarting. That iPad, me and that iPad have had a lot of adventures. It's a lot of alone time on that iPad. Can't figure out how to fix it. They're one of the Indian guys, gotta know. <clears throat> Alright, let's get to work, peoples. Hey, Brian, what's going on? What do you mean, what happened to Zoom? Zoom? It's a good stop. I'd keep it. Show. Show why not. All right, let's get to work. QQQ's at breakout. QQQ's at breakout. I mean, what else can we say? We're on uh, We're on the trend. Uh, I don't believe today there's really any news today that we've got to be aware of. But we must say, okay, American people, I just want to say sayonara. Okay, sayonara. I want to say sayonara because the Chinese people, they mean a lot to me. And it's their favorite word. And I just want to show that I'm not racist, that I'm a fantastic person. So, sayonara. Konnichiwa. You choyos. Okay, President Trump is out. Hasta la vista, baby. Cool. Now let's get to work. Now that we get out of the way. We got... Trender in the QQQs. It's a Gap City day today, but what are you going to do? We just got to roll with it. Uh -oh. This is a buyout. So Netflix, gapping up 14%, which is quite a bit for Netflix. It does suck, up, suck out a little bit of the range on it. If you look at Netflix on a weekly chart, though, I mean, that's... That's not... That's nice. That's nice right there, ain't it? Woo! I think we add this one to the list. If you're a day trader, right, probably we'll need a pullback on this. You know, if we get one at the open, we'll need a pullback on it because it is up like 14%, which is a little bit a lot for Netflix. Back in the day, Netflix used to move like that all the time, but it's been stuck in a range for a long time. So we'll need a pullback on this one if we're going to go and take a little goose and a gander on it. If you're a swing trader, if this thing holds over here and it starts to kind of marinate for like, I would say three to five days, uh, you'll probably get a good swing setup out of it at some point. You just can't roll with it right now, but it's getting there. Uh, you know what? <clears throat> this SPI, let's just pretend like this little middle finger is not there. And <laughs> let's pretend this thing is not there. And if you just take this little mega penis out, and you just put and pretend like you just got like that nice base over there. Then I think like this one's got a little bit of chance on it. What do you think? You got a nice base on it. It is a solar stock. I think after, you know, yesterday we had some of those runs in like GRTS. And, I mean, fuck. I was, walk, I was taking a walk on the beach. I had like 3,000 of this GRTS at the 20 EMA. <laughs> I sold it so quick because I was trading it off the phone. Good Lord. Oh, man. I think, you know, with some of these, with the silly season still continuing, I think you kind of add this one to the list. I think it may have a chance. Like, we've seen this one go crazy before. I don't know if the gap holds on this. Like, you're going to need, like, a rock-solid intraday setup to get in. But uh, I think... I think it's got a chance. Like this is tis tis the season, right? For tis the season. Good. So add SPTI. 
UAVS, this one's getting just way too long in the tooth. You didn't get a flat top breakout over here, over nine. This one's, it's just too high right now. Fucking future. China, China, China. Man, this thing, you know, I tried this thing for like a swing trade like three times too. <laughs> this one is wild. I can't play this one. If anything, I look at this one as a potential short. You're starting to get into the rubber band short. Rubber band short means two things. You need stochastics over 90. You want at least minimum two thumbs between your 90 and May. And where the price is, candle completely outside the Bollinger Band. So probably want a little bit more push. Fuck. I mean, we got to have to try to take it down. The problem on this one is there's a spread on it. It's not the easiest to kind of level into. You can't just blindly short this one. Ideally for me, this is how this would work. This thing would start to rampage, you know, maybe down into 100, right? It just trends up. It's 90 EMA or something like that. And then during lunchtime, you start to see the cracks. You start to see the lower highs. And then you let this thing pull down and you'll be good to go. <clears throat> DMYD, this chart is hot. You got flag breakout here on the daily. Pushing over this, I would say 1775 is the hold spot. Man. That's nice. Any pullback at this on the open? We're coming in hot on this thing if the volume holds. What's an eToro? Let me see. Never heard of it. GSOA. Not sure. I'll take a look. eToro. What's it like? A Mexican gas company? <laughs> eToro. I like it. Where? Where are you working? E Toto. That's a nice commercial right there. E Toto. Eh, pass. I'd take this one off. SRNE junk. Yo, this INSG, this is the 5G play. This thing came out of range yesterday. It's kept it up like 5%. But if you get a pull on this one at the open, a quick pullback by anything like that. Then um, I think I think you'll be okay. Like that, you know. This I we want to keep playing this. This is a compression breakout. When you get a wide range and you really tighten up like that and compress the range, once you start pushing, you usually get like a three four days out of it. I think it's gonna have a chance. You don't want to chase it up on a five percent gap today. Let that thing pull back nine twenty EMA. Build out some price support. I think you're gonna have a little chance at this one. Baba starting to push. Uh, Jack Ma came on like some commercial or something, uh, talking to like rural teachers, uh, saying you know he's alive and well. So you got a gap up on this one. It's come a long way now since uh, two fifteen, but uh, yeah, you know. I don't know on this one. It's a little bit thick of a stock. And frankly, it's been up like three, four days in a row. Ah, pass. I think there's just hotter stocks in the market. TTM, this is an uh, Indian company. Yeah. Tata Motors, pass. Skills. Skills in like a nice swing stock, which stinks for day trading. Uh, IPOE is kind of same thing. This is like a nice swing stock. I don't know if it's like necessarily a, like a, the hottest day trader per se. I guess it was yesterday. The other days it kind of stunk around. But damn, up too many days in a row. Pass. Pass, pass, pass. Donkey Kong stuck in a range. Pass. Hey, with Baba going, see this PDD? You're in like some nice support over here. So you got a breakout. Pull back right into, man, right into support. That's, I think, top of the list for us. You know, this one's got good range. It just trades easy. Like, you notice, like, yeah, same thing with Baidu, right? Since Baidu's been trending, like, we haven't had very many bad trades on it. Like, it usually gives us, 
it usually gives us like a nice clean kind of nice clean type of move add that to the list that's top of the list li's got a nice level over here you got the 30 37 ish right 37 ish eh is up too high how's up eh is up too high now add an li to the list Good. See, Billy Bong 2 is a little bit more of a grinder. I probably, I'm not really that keen on this one. I think PDD is the way to go. Fubo. So Fubo's up 3% in the morning. <clears throat> Look, you're starting to marinate here at the 50 SMA. You've tested it a couple times here. It may be a bounce, but I don't know. I think we got easier plays out there. You know, there's plays that are hot, and then there's plays that are easy. And there's always a little bit of a difference. You can have a hot chart, but it may not necessarily be easy because it just hasn't gone yet. Sometimes, like, when a stock is just, like, marinating, and, like, you're trying to time the breakout, you just, because it's, it hasn't broken out, it doesn't move clean intraday. You know, you're just stuck in a range. So you buy high and then it just dumps and you buy high and it just dumps. You just, you, you can't use momentum trading techniques or setups in non-momentum stocks. That's why when you're day trading, it's always easier to ch chase a breakout, chase a breakout on the daily and then start day trading it, right? But if you're like trying to time a breakout, then it gets a lot hotter, right? Like we're kind of going through the same thing with Palantar where... You know, it's stuck in the range. And so we use momentum techniques, but we're, you know, when you apply momentum techniques to a non-momentum stock, it doesn't work. But what'll happen is, and this is just gonna happen, and it'll, it'll happen in the next five, six, seven days or whatever. At some point it'll break out and it'll be up here. And then we'll have to chase the fuck out of it, but then all the patterns will work. And so that's the caveat of, you know, between day trading and swing trading. Day trading, you want to always be in early, but you won't be, when you're swing trading, you want to be in early, but you won't be able to day trade that stock because it's stuck in range, but you're in early. When you're day trading, you want to actually chase it up because then the actual patterns tend to work out and they'll just move a little bit cleaner. So you always got to be mindful of like, you know, what's the difference? Once the, one look, it can be the same stock, but one look looks like a swing and one look is for a day trade. So day trading, it's better to chase it out. Swing trading, you want to be in early. Uh, Roku, not really. This is not a good market to short unless you got a lot of skills on Shilt. I don't know how many skills you have, but um, you know, if you're like, if you're like in that kind of mode, you're like doubling up your account every month kind of mode, then you probably probably got the skill to do it. It's very tough to short in this market though. Dun, 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 dun. Blink. Hey, this blink is on support too. We should make a, a pull if it can hold at 45. We should make a push into 55. I'd actually uh, I'd keep that on. I'd keep that on the list. Hey Mo, you sent me 4,000 tickers today. Like, how am I supposed to check all those out? There's no way you can watch all of those. <laughs> There's no way. Put blink on the list too. You got risk down to 45. This one should start to curl up. Ancho, man, this is a tough trade. Tough trade because it's it's just trending. It's not necessarily parabolic. So there's a difference between up a lot and parabolic. There's a difference between up a lot and parabolic. Roku is up a lot, but it's not necessarily parabolic. Like if you really think, you know, going from 300 to 400, what's that, like 25%? Um... Bum, 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 right? So it's up a lot. It's even slightly overbought, but it's not necessarily parabolic. You can be overbought, but it not be a short, right? Overbought, oversold is you have to adjust the parameters of overbought, oversold in terms of like what you consider overbought depending on market conditions. So like if we were like in a bear market or something and the stock was up this much, we'd probably say like, oh shit, this thing is probably overbought. But if you're like in a monster cock, just runaway market, then yeah, it's 
up a lot, but not parabolic, if that makes sense. Cool. Now let's take a look at the regular watch list. I'm stealing this one from Justice. I like this a lot. This is Dash. You got a big push from 140 to 25. Pull back to the 9 EMA. You're starting to flag out. I like this one. If it can keep over yesterday's highs, you know, this is kind of like a little inverse head and balders kind of pattern over here. But I do like the location of this one. It's going to have a chance. Uh, keep that on your list. If I could turn back time. TDOC right at that sweet spot. That's top of the list. SPWR. Fuck, I wish this thing didn't uh, gap up here. Keep an eye on yesterday's high for SPWR. This thing had a big trend on it. Five points. It's actually, out of all the solar stocks, this is the one that's breaking out now. This one's got a lot of juice on it. If it can hold over yesterday's highs, we should be good to go. GSX is the third two. Ancho, there's 8,000 stocks in the market. How come you're finding the two shittiest ones? I'm just kidding. I don't know. GSX is very hard to trade. See, this is in a range. Like, we need hot. You need heat. Hot, hot, heat. When you look at an intraday chart, you want to be able to see the ebb and flows of them. You need hot, hot, hot heat. So you got 8,000 stocks. If Guys, if you have five stocks on your watch list, what you have to ask yourself is, do I got something hot? Do I got something hot? Right? It's the same thing. You're at dinner with your girlfriend, and she's sitting there talking about, hey, my puppy did this, and hey, we need to go grocery shopping this, and you're sitting there eating the dinner, drinking your beer, and you're going, fuck, can I get hotter than this? Always look to upgrade. So you got to always do that. Always remember that. And your stock should be the same way. Don't act like you guys have never had that thought when you're sitting at dinner. Like, shit. Is this what my life has turned into? Is this the best I can do? And your stock should be judged the same way. <laughs> THBR. Hey, so it's a little spec swing if the volume stays in. Keep an eye on this one. This is like a battery company. I've been eyeballing this one. If it tightens up here for a little bit of a swing trade, it needs some more juice on it. I think like three, four more days, this thing will be ready for a little bit of a swing trade. And then XPEV LI got the same setups. You can add them both on the watch list. You can add them both on the watch list. It's going to be important. I like this one too, along with LI. If it can hold these levels... Yes, uh, Nio is sitting on support, but it's just like more of a bitch to trade. You know, like this thing. I don't know what it is. Like, I just don't make as much money in Nio. Also, the margin rates fucking suck on this. So, like, <laughs> the mar at least on E-Trade, <laughs> uh, at least on E-Trade, the margin rates stink on Nio. I don't know why. They just do. So, just something to be mindful of. XPEV Ally a little bit better. Good. Lemonade, breakout, so at 114 to 190, you back into support here. I think the key is going to be if it remounts this 190, watch this like kind of 150-ish zone. If it starts to, if it starts to push, I think that lemon, lemonade is going to be something too. If lemonade starts to push, that's going to be top of the list. Pen, man, our watch this is getting too long. Breakout, pull back to 20, remount to 9. This one's going to be good to go. And then last one, we had this MP. You're stuck setting up this a rare earth metal company, blah, blah, blah. I think that one's got a look. And then MG and I. That's it. Man, my fucking list is too big. I know. It's, it's the price we pay as Americans for the nukes. Our watch list just have to be a little bit big. It's the bull market. What are you going to do? Big thing though, JMIA does look good. Watch that, watch that ATH on it. And you guys really gotta, you know, we've gotta, we gotta do probably a little bit better job managing our list. It's just when you go through your scans, like everything looks delicious, everything looks tasty. Like I, you just want to have your hands in everything, and it's very, very difficult to do. But we've got to do it. We've got big brains. 
we've got big brains. Like we can, you know, we can watch some stocks. Volley looks good. I actually was looking at the other day, but it is a slow one. This is more of like a swing trade. It just doesn't have that much movement. It's a little choppy little bastard. If I could turn back time. I think, you know, what we want to be really be doing today is thinking like, okay, which ones haven't gone? It's really hard to chase the market up one and a half percent. So you got to manage, you got to manage your day. Like the market's tapping a one and a half percent. If you think about how yesterday happened, if you think about yesterday, the first five, 10 minutes, this is how you manage your day. When the market gaps up, the first 10 minutes are going to be shredders. Like yesterday, right? We caught all these ORBs. But then what happened after that? Everything started drifting down. You got lower highs. And what did we end up kind of doing? Kind of grinding back some profits because there's no momentum. Then once that kind of consolidation's over, right? We went on this monster run into the close. That's what we got to be a part of. So when you think about like your trading day, today we got to gap up. We probably get like a hot shred at the open and then we grind our balls for the next hour or two, you know, and everybody be saying, hey, what about this stock? What about this stock? What about this stock? And none of them will be any good because the market's just going to grind. And then once we get tired and sick of looking at all the stocks, we'll usually, we'll all take off and then they'll all go for a run. That's how they usually happen. You want to make sure that midday you don't overexert yourself because end of day has been hot, right? End of day, you've been getting, right, these kind of moves like GRTS that like you just start to, to go crazy. So just something to be mindful of. This is the list. I'm sticking to it. I'm not making any adjustments. This has been a hot start to, hot start to the year. And, uh, you know, we got to do what we got to do, which is the do do. All right. Watch that TDOC 237. Good. Dash JMIA. JMIA is a daily trader for us at this point. Cool. <clears throat> End of day has been hot. This is how the market works. The open is hot. Midday is not. The end of the day is a go. But sometimes it's a hold. But the open is never. Friends. Let's have some fun. Let's do what we do.